Big, the worldwide leader in stationary lighters and shavers, has just announced its full year results, as well as a change of governance. And I'm joined today by Big's chairman and CEO, Bruno Big, as well as Gonzalve Big, the company's chief operating officer. So, gentlemen, hello. Good morning, Nadia. Good morning, Nadia. Bruno, let me start with you. Could you give us perhaps an overview of 2017 first? 2017 was a difficult year. It was a year with large disruption. Uh, we had a good first quarter with increased sales in all regions of the world and in all categories. And we finished the year in an increase of 1.4% on a comparative basis. Uh, the United States is uh, bouncing back on lighter, stabilizing shaver sales. Uh, if we look at uh, Middle East and Africa and India, we grew substantially. Uh, Brazil was hurt by the economic condition which are continuing in that country. Well, let me turn to you, Gonzave. Let's go into detail a little bit. Uh, tell us first about stationery, perhaps. So in stationery, we grew 3.4% last year with good back-to-school performance in Europe, um, in Mexico, and in South Africa, where we gained share. And how about lighters? Lighters was also good. We grew 2.2% with good gains of distribution in Eastern Europe that led us to a solid performance. North America was more difficult, but the market was up and our sales were up above the market, so we gained share there as well. And in Latin America, we did well. And Shavers? Shavers was more difficult, as Bruno mentioned. We were down 2.2% globally. Good performance in Europe. The U.S. business remains really disrupted and good progression in Latin America. Now, Bruno, as you mentioned, 2017 wasn't an easy year. Tell us more about that. There was a lot of disruption. Uh, there was a lot of disruption, mainly in the category of shaver, where online sales, which five years ago were extremely minimal, today represent about 15% of the wet shave market. And that was quite a disruption from an unexpected uh, area at least six, seven years ago. Uh, the consumer today with the new technology and the way they want uh, things is really they want the products that they want within a few hours and delivered where they expect it. So that's quite a disruption, which I think is an opportunity to, to build on. Uh, the other disruption is really the economic conditions of certain countries, which, uh, uh, like Brazil, are acting in a way which uh, surprises people on a regular basis. Well, Bruno uh, just used that word of opportunity. Uh, Gonzalve, how do you turn that challenge into a positive? I think that risk is opportunity. And at BIC, that's part of our DNA and has been for a very long time. We do that from a sales, from a marketing, and from a commercial perspective. Um, in stationery, for example, with the Pick Your BIC campaign, where consumers uh, voted for different designs and they were available for sale online. And this year, in April, they'll be available in stores. And how is that different from Design My Beak? Well, Design My Beak is an innovative um, printing uh, system that we have in the U.S. that's being rolled out where consumers can upload pictures of their products and in a couple of days we'll send it to them to their home. And there's also the Beak Shave Club? Yeah. Last year in March, here in France, we launched the Beak Shave Club and in November of last year we extended that to the U.K. and it's having good positive traction. Well, looking forward now to 2018, what do you foresee? 2018 is going to be difficult. Our forward-looking forecast is to grow sales between 1 and 3 percent. And there's going to be impact on gross profit. And that, those impacts are three. Raw material increases, increases in depreciation, and investments in the brand and in operating expenses that allow us to be the long-term oriented company that we are as we build our share in the company for the years to come. Now, Bruno, of course, this year, the big news is your departure. Could you tell us more about that decision and how you feel at this juncture? Well, first of all, it's not uh, unexpected news uh, because a couple of years ago, we put Gonzalez in charge of all the categories. And then uh, 13 months ago, we made him uh, director general delegate and executive vice president in charge of operations. So uh, we have really prepared this, uh, this transition. Uh, we think that at this time, at this stage, it's a good thing to split the responsibility of chairman of the board and CEO. With the responsibility of the CEO, who is clearly the, the manager of the company, to develop the 
strategy and uh, tactics to implement, uh, to reach the goals that are set with the board. And that's Gonzalve? And that is absolutely, that is Gonzalve. And then uh, we have Pierre Varey who has been with us for several years, a director and the last two years a vice chair of the board, who is a very experienced uh, businessman internationally, uh, who has also been coaching Gonzalve for a few years. And I think it will be a, a very good team. And as you mentioned, for the first time, a non-Beak family member will be taking over the role of chairman. Gonzalo, tell us a bit about your relationship with Pierre. So I've known Pierre for nine years. He's been a director of the company for that long. And for the last two years, he and I have been exchanging and building ideas and really thrashing out a lot about what the company needs to do for the years to come to continue to be successful. We have a great legacy, but we also need to invent the future. Well, Bruno, do you have a message for the Beak team members around the world? Well, as you saw when you entered the company, uh, there is a sign that is honor the past, invent the future. Uh, I think we have great values and we have a philosophy of manufacturing very high quality products that we want to sell at a fair price all around the world. And that is a result of work with people. You know, people are the cornerstone of this company and they are the people who designs a product, develops a product, manufactures a product, develops a marketing strategy, develops the advertising campaign and do the selling. Behind everything is people. And the message that I have to them is the values I know are well instilled in you. There is no doubt about that. So today, for everything else, we got to invent the future. I changed a lot of things after my father passed the baton to me. And as we said earlier, disruption. Well, disruption is opportunities, and therefore the whole team must work at you know, building what I call the new big. And I'm highly confident that we have a great team, and under the chairmanship of Pierre and the CEO of Gonzalve, you know, we're going to move forward in a very strong manner. Gonzalve, would you like to add something for the team and on the challenges ahead? Absolutely. When I think about 2018, there's three things that come to mind. One, leverage our amazing strengths. We have an incredible team of 15,000 plus engaged individuals who live the same values every day. And I think that's one of the core things that we need to hang on to, celebrate and take forward with us. Also, be courageous. Take bold steps and try new things. Mindful of return on investment, leveraging data and working together as a team, but those really courageous decisions. Second, reconnecting with our roots. We're a manufacturing organization. And there's a lot of big colleagues around the world making amazing products, and that's an important part of everything that we do. My third point would be embrace the disruption. Risk is nothing if it's not opportunity, and it's everywhere we look. So identify it, find the data that you need, seize it, win, and move on to the next one. Finally, I'm incredibly proud and excited to take on this role. I'm also mindful of some of the challenges, but I do want to take a second to thank my father, the board, my family, and all the big colleagues around the world for their trust. Thank you, and I look forward to an amazing 2018 and many years beyond together. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, Nadia. You're welcome.